Hello, welcome to another beer review. Today we're going back up to the one and only Northern Monk up in Leeds, and this is their Patrons Project 3.02. This is their Pina Colada Black IPA coming in at 10% ABV. A collaboration beer with Siren Craft Brew. Um, tropical Death Party, yeah. And the, the amazing artwork on this can is from James Butler. Yeah, a 10% black IPA. Absolutely fantastic. It has got a peel off thing, but I'll do that. I'll do it now, actually. Hopefully, it won't be a 10 minute review trying to peel this thing off. You know what I'm like. Here we go. Getting the hang of this now. There's loads of information underneath. It's fantastic the way they're doing this. Look at that. If you want to pause it, I haven't even read it myself yet, so some of his artwork. Brilliant stuff. And then when you turn it around. Look at that. Awesome artwork. Brilliant stuff. There's loads of information on the back of the can. I'll show you that after. Maybe. But yeah. This is is there an IBU account on this beer? Can't see it. Anyway, it's a ten percent black IPA. Oh shit, that don't sound good. There we go, it's not too bad. I'm trying to remember where I purchased this beer from. Uh, 10 Devonshire Place in Harrogate, North Yorkshire. Beer in a glass. I really wanted to try this when I was up there, but it sold out in the first afternoon at Hop City on the Thursday, and then never, never came back on that I saw anyway. Check out Hopzine, Rob Derbyshire's review of this beer. He'll be more sober than I am now doing the review and a lot more informative, but this is my take on it. It's just below, well, just above a one finger. Not not too kind of khaki coloured, it's, it's kind of a light kind of beige colour to the head. Into the light, there's no light at all coming through. Maybe a very faint. It, there is a kind of, it's very dark, there's no light coming through, but there's a slight kind of tinge plum coming through. Let's get an aroma then on this 10% black IPA. Oh, yeah. You're picking up kind of a, a pineapple. Brewed with pineapple. Um, pineapple. There's a nice, nice sweetness going on. They say it's brewed with pineapple and coconut, but I'm not picking up much coconut on the aroma. Definitely picking up the pineapple. There's a slight kind of burnt ash kind of aroma going on. Slight sweetness. There is a slight kind of edge of maybe some tropical fruit notes. Dark fruits. Not really. <sighs> Not picking up any alcohol on the nose which is a good sign. Let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. Oh my days. Wow. And you're picking up the coconut on the taste for sure. Predominant taste there. Pineapple's there. It's, it's mingling really well. Real kind of tropical notes. As it says 
on the can. Tropical Death Party. Wow, that is stunning. Lovely mouthfeel. Upper end of medium body. Very smooth. It's not m mega thick for a 10% ABV beer as regards body, which is amazing. Um, and you're not picking up the ABV. Wow, that's stunning. That is a stunner. The artwork is fantastic. Two of my favourite breweries in the UK coming together to create an absolute masterpiece. And then to top it off, the artwork is just on the same level. James Butler, wow. How amazing is that? There's some talented people out there and talented brewers. Oh. It's one of them kickback beers you just sit and enjoy. It's definitely a sipper. Although you're not picking up the ABV, this could be a very dangerous beer if you're not on your toes with the ABV. It doesn't taste like it at all. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. There's a slight sweetness coming through, like maybe some vanilla. There's a slight earthiness going on there. I haven't watched Rob's review yet, so I, I, I will watch it eventually. But um, And then I'll compare it to this kind of merry beer review. First beers I've had today for probably the best part of two weeks. So I wanted to try this when I was up in Leeds, but I didn't get to it. So mm. my word, no wonder it sold out quick. A definite, very, a definite, very, a definite hoppy black IPA. It's like a hoppy stout, really. Look at that conditioning. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, any other information? There's not much information I've found so far. There's, there's probably a lot more on the back. Let me just open it up for you. Let you pause it. Uh, there's lots of... Uh, Probably the bit you want to pause on. I don't know if you're going to pick that up. I'll do that bit first. If I can keep the bloody can still. There you go. So, yeah, brilliant. Right, one more sip there and a rating and I'll bugger off. Wow, that's good. For me that's a 10 out of 10. All day long. It's beautiful. It's got a lovely smoothness to it. There is a little bit of alcohol coming through now. I've had like three or four mouthfuls. But yeah. Fantastic stuff. So, if you've had this collaborational beer tropical death party pina colada black ipa with northern monk and siren craft brew 10 percent abv dangerous one great stuff let's know your thoughts and opinions down below um i'll put both breweries playlists down below as well as their uh, social media outlets websites etc down below and Rob Rob's review down below as well as well as 10 Derbyshire
place in Harrogate, North Yorkshire. Cheers for watching then, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.